What up, backseat uh, crew? Yeah, we're in the backseat. <laughs> Loving it. I'm coming back, clap up. Uh, when that whole week beat you up and stretch you, but you hear that organ playing and remind you of your blessings. And on another note, she just hit another note. Chills down. Hi, I'm Libby. I'm a part of the CLC youth group, and this is the NAYC trip. I'm totally looking forward to seeing everyone and doing a great worship service, and this is my day. He's iconic. How we made martyrs out of these fathers and rose up all of his daughters to glorify him with honor. Man, I swear Sam is Jones with a head in. That's fine everywhere. She don't get what it is. Something I'm looking forward to is, I don't know, just the services in general. Being able to sit and listen to the services, get devotional books, oh, go yeah. see the different booths and everything too. It's always exciting seeing everyone. Yeah. Um, most interesting thing uh, would have to be the squeaky fried chicken at the <laughs> rest stop right back there. It was cracking me up. On his feet, I wanna do the type of shows that the Lord wanna see. What I mean, if I can make the whole church clap, but ain't a clap in the heavens, then that clap just a clap, clap. Oh, it's like glorified, sin mortified. The Holy Spirit going word that truth ain't more to die. The sound doctrine is birthed in the coming out. Nothing wrong with singing loud, but DJ Rose, I'm part of the Delo Christian Life Youth Group. Okay, what are you most looking forward to this week? Spending time with my fellow church mates and having a good time. What's been the most interesting on the trip so far? How many times we've had to stop in such a short, short period already? And why did we have to stop? Various reasons. We, I don't know all of them at this point. I remember one of them distinctly being for the boys to run into Walmart. Can you expand on that, please? Yeah, we're going to get card things. <laughs> this was James's idea. This is perfect. This is not all fault. It's James's fault. You can have the cards. And what is one thing you found interesting so far this trip? One thing I found interesting, um, the blue penguins at the zoo, those are cool. James Wolfert, uh, post service, night one, amazing music, loved it. Crazy experience so far. There's a barbecue place like over there, best mac and cheese ever. Delicious mac and cheese. All right, Chloe, what are your initial thoughts post service number one? Um, the Lord is good. Um, what's been the craziest experience so far this trip? Well, the toilet in me and Phoebe's bathroom flooded and our whole floor was wet 
and the carpet was wet and it reached like the beds and everything got wet and my socks were wet and so that was pretty crazy but it's okay because <laughs> the lord is good because the lord is good <laughs> So many ways, but you still I provide them. I hit a whole band and start a whole thing, cause it can't go on be coming. Hey, it can't go on be coming. I'm beginning up forever and the end of time. It's a new life for us, we don't got side. for us. I'm Grayson. What's been your favorite experience so far? Obviously eating candy. Eating candy? What's your favorite type of candy, Grayson? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm, I don't know. That's fair. What has been your favorite part of the trip so far? Um, I don't know. Fair enough. Who's your favorite person to hang out with on this trip? Judah. Judah? <laughs> Tell me about your Ferris wheel experience. I had to lay on the ground at first, then... Why were you on I the ground? Didn't. I don't know. I was scared. And what Judah? happened after that? Um, Judah um, and me were farting. Why? I don't know. We were just farting so we had to fart. It's yummy. <laughs> and how did your parents feel about that? I said it was, I said it was romantic, but they said, yeah, it's real romantic, but I can barely breathe. Yeah, they can't breathe at all. Oh, yeah, they can't breathe. Gotcha. Do you plan on changing or amending or apologizing for any of those actions? Okay, what has been the best moment of the trip so far? Um, church service, praying afterwards, worship, so this one. Very nice. What are you most looking forward to tomorrow? Uh, it's mac and cheese day. Mac and cheese from where? Russia. Uh, salt and smoke is what's called. Very nice. And what is one thing you wish you brought with you to? More Dr. Fun.
hope changes when we get back to Ohio? I hope we don't stay the same church we've been for all these years. I hope we have revival in the church and we all take another step towards God. I hope that uh, our church grows a lot and there's a lot more new people and visitors and uh, yeah. Something I hope changes once we get back is I hope there's more people that come to our church because I want, I want, I feel like it should be backed out. What is something you hope changes? Um, maybe for there to be different songs at the church. What is one thing you hope changes when we get back to Ohio? Um, maybe the youth and hyphen getting to do more in the church and participating in things every Sunday and Wednesday. So, something that I hope changes. I hope that the, well, the energy that we have right now, I just hope it stays the same once we get back because I know that sometimes things do change <laughs> with the youth group and the hyphen and that it's kind of different once we get back from these trips. And so I hope that doesn't change because we're all, it's cool right now. Hi, I'm James. I don't know, what do you want me to say? Who are you? I'm the youth pastor slash whatever you need me to be. Iconic. Iconic. What has been your favorite moment so far? Uh, so far, my favorite moment has been um, just the hangout time. Getting everybody disconnected from the world, disconnected from their phones a little bit, and just hanging out together, talking, spending time, losing horrible at Rook, uh, and just, just getting to see people outside of their normal, normal life. Yeah. What is one thing you hope is different when we get back to Ohio? One thing I hope is different, I would say is, tonight we're an awesome message about hearing the call of God, and not just hearing it, but living the call of God. So I hope when we go back to Ohio, that this takes root, um, that the, the youth and hyphen take what they felt here today, get that calling and just go with it. Don't don't be afraid. Just take that calling and, and go and run. I'm excited to see what God's going to do with that. Even just talking with a few of you guys here so far since the service, as I would say, trust what you heard tonight. Trust that what you heard from God is real, that God has called you, that the calling that you felt tonight is real, and that God is going to provide a way. He's going to open doors for you. Don't be afraid if you feel like you're not worth it. Don't be afraid if you feel like you don't have all the skills and the, the means to make it happen. Just step out, God will make a way because what you heard tonight is real, so hang on to that. And what is one thing you wish you brought with you from Ohio? The one thing I wish I brought with me is my daughter Emma. I miss her a lot, so we miss you. Come